Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to Best Kept Plans. Today we're going to be doing a plan with me for the week of August 30th through September 5th, 2021. If you guys are interested in seeing that, please stick around. Here is a look at this past week's spread in my classic happy planner. I am going to be going with the same a week on one page layout from the minimalist line from the Happy Planner. I will be pairing that with these gorgeous pastel collage stickers from Create with Mandy. I also pulled out a couple of other stickers as well as some quote stickers from Elise Michelle XO and these three washi tapes that I am going to be using. I generally like to start uh, this layout with putting together a little bit of a quote cluster in the priorities box, which is the box in the middle of the bottom row. And I decided that I want to uh, put this find your joy quote sticker in that box. I am going to be laying down some washi tape as well as some of these circle stickers first so that I have a good idea of where to put the quote sticker so that I can overlay some of the other stuff that's going to be on the page. So I put down this really, really pretty purple kind of marbleized washi with some gold paint splatter look on it. Um, and I was going to try to put down this turquoise striped washi, but I felt like it wasn't popping enough when laying the striped washi on top of that purple. So I decided to pull out this kind of spotted black and white washi and to lay that down and again I tried to make this turquoise stripe washi work but it just really felt like it wasn't going to pop enough so I decided to leave that area with just those two washies and I thought I'd pair it with this really really bright fun um, blue and orange sticker and I'm also layering on top of that a sticker with some more peachy pink tones. And now I'm going to place down this Find Your Joy sticker. And I'm trying to really center it in the middle of that box. I know last week when I put a quote in this area, I really put it towards the bottom of the box because I knew um, I had a sticker that I was going to put on Friday that was going to overlap not the same situation this week so I definitely wanted to put that quote sticker right in the middle. Now I'm going to focus on putting down these uh, small colorful box stickers. They are in gold foil and I decided to use that color because of the little gold flecks in that purple washi tape. On Monday I am laying down a box because I have a conference for work and I decided it would be a good time to pull out and actually try to use that turquoise washi, pairing it with this orange circle sticker, which I think looks really good given that those are complementary colors to each other. Next, I'm pulling up another colorful box sticker, which I'm going to put down on Wednesday to um, indicate a meeting that I have for work. I know that I want to have it in kind of the same spot or the same area, um, but I was just trying to figure out a way to lay it down with some washi tape that allowed it to look different from what I did on Monday. So I am pulling out another small sticker, but decided to go with this really, really gorgeous blue one here. And again, I'm going to lay down that quote sticker. Or I'm sorry, that colorful box sticker. You are going to see me just put a little bit of washi. Um, I'm sorry white out down. Ooh, really, really flubbing up my words today, guys. <laughs> um, but I put a little bit of white out down. That way the dark blue color of that sticker wouldn't, wouldn't show through the colorful box. My last colorful box is going to go on Sunday to indicate that um, one of my friends is having a birthday celebration. I'm trying to figure out what, um, what circle sticker to lay down, and I decided to go with this really pretty um, floral sticker. I'm not putting any washi tape down because I do have a bunch of washi kind of on the other side where I paired those other um, circle stickers. 
I do like the way that that looks. Now I'm trying to figure out if I want to use these smaller circle stickers that I pulled out, one of which says today and the other one says to do. And I just decided that it was kind of enough circles on the page. <laughs> um, I am going back up to the little cluster on Monday to put a tiny bit of this purple washi behind the colorful box just to add a little bit of that purple washi up on the top of the spread. Now I'm trying to figure out if I want to lay down this Be The Good sticker. I did have an idea to put it on that second row um, because there's nothing there with regards to colorful boxes and clusters involving colorful boxes but I just wasn't positive if it was going to look okay. So I decided to first put down my washi tape and bullet stickers on Monday through Friday to indicate my work schedule. As usual, I'm using the same color or, or the same kind of washi tape on Monday, Tuesday, and Friday because I am on the same office on those days. I decided to pull in the purple washi for Wednesday and Thursday when I am in a different office. Here you're going to see me lay down this little bullet sticker on top and then decide against it. The reason for that is the kind of purplish color of those bullet stickers was just too close to the color purple in that washi tape and you really couldn't differentiate it. So what I am going to do is I'm actually going to... Um, go and find a different colored uh, bullet for that. But first, I did decide to put this Be The Good quote sticker down, and I'm just layering some washi tape first. I'm putting down that spotty tape as well as this striped turquoise tape, making sure everything is down nice and straight. You're going to see me pull up that quote sticker and I'm just kind of seeing how it looks and realizing that the spotted washi tape, because it's black, it it blends in too much with the sticker or, or it doesn't allow the sticker, the quote sticker to stand out enough. So I ended up peeling it up a little bit. That way um, you it wouldn't be underneath the actual quote sticker. I'm also deciding to pull in another one of these circle stickers. I'm going with this really pretty one that has mostly pink tones to it. Um, and it has a little hand holding a flower. And I'm going to layer that on the edge and then overlap that quote sticker on that circle sticker and the washi tape. I think that ended up coming out really, really good. I'm very happy with that. Now I have those... Uh, new bullet stickers are kind of like a gray color. I wanted something light that was going to contrast to the washi tape, which I think this did. And that is it for this week's spread. I kept it pretty, um, pretty minimal, but I really, really like the way it came out. I hope you guys do too. And as always, everyone, bye-bye.